Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Logitech keyboard that is not connecting. These will be some easy fixes to try first in a very simplistic tutorial, so let's get right into this instructional video. So there are five things that I'm going to outline with regards to fixes that you should try um, for getting your keyboard to hopefully connect if it's having trouble connecting, and hopefully one of these five fixes works and gets it working once again with regards to your keyboard. So let's get into these five fixes. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Fix number one is to unplug the USB receiver and plug it back in again. So I'm assuming that, you know, you probably are going to use a USB receiver like this, uh, whether it's a unifying receiver for a keyboard and mouse or just a receiver for the keyboard itself. Um, you know, the first thing you want to do is unplug the receiver and plug it back in again. By doing that, you're going to hopefully fix the problem. That's like the easiest thing you, you should try out on the first thing that you should try out. So that's number one. Okay. Number two is to try plugging in the USB receiver to a different USB port. So unplug the USB receiver and then plug it into a different USB port. Maybe the problem is with the USB port itself. That actually happened to me many, many years ago with one of my old computers. Uh, the USB port was just simply, it became faulty. So unplug the USB receiver and plug it into a different USB port. Hopefully that fixes your problem. If that doesn't help you out, move on to number three. Fix number three is to remove the batteries from the keyboard and then put them back in, okay? So you wanna remove the batteries from the keyboard and put them back in. Just flip your keyboard over, look for the battery compartment, open up the battery compartment, remove those batteries put the batteries back in sometimes you just need a little bit of like a like a little bit of a reset and that's the easiest way to do that just just pop the batteries out and pop them back in hopefully that works if that doesn't help you I'll move on to fix number four which is to replace the keyboard batteries with fresh ones that's because you know maybe those batteries that you had in there are old batteries and they're dead so you want to just change those batteries for fresh ones and hopefully that helps you out and if that doesn't work move on to the last fix for this the last easy fix for this video which is fix number five which is to restart the computer or laptop so you want to restart the computer or laptop now if your keyboard is not working and maybe your mouse isn't working as well you might have difficulty restarting your computer or laptop that's why i left this as the last resort um, because you might have to like force it to shut down or force it to restart using the power button and you might lose your work and stuff like that the thing that you're working on, that any, on anything, that, anything that was unsafe. Um, but anyways, those are the five fixes. Hopefully one of them works for you and you get your keyboard connected and working once again. I tried to keep the video short and sweet. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.